Welcome everybody to today's video on The Legend of the Lone Ranger Toys by Gabriel. Let's get into it. This is the long-awaited video I was planning to make on The Legend of the Lone Ranger. I have done a video before and half got around to printing out the Western set. Today we're going to do a nice in-depth on The Legend of the Lone Ranger, all the figures, what's included in the whole run and the play set. But before we do that, da -da -da, we have some mail. This comes from David McMillan. Thank you, David sent this via Express Post. This turned up yesterday and I wasn't making a video today, but I want to get it open, see what he has sent. Thank you so much. We have a note. He writes to usual Mike. Here is Mando. I'm an inbox Star Wars collector like yourself. I have been collecting for 30 years and your show is the best. I have been watching your show for years. Keep up the best work, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Here is the Mando. I believe he's talking about. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now that we have this card, I'll put it in the folder. If you haven't seen this video, check it out. And now, forgive the Pokemon card, <laughs> it's just an album. This is that full set of cards. I like these little nifty little four packs. So the four, you've seen the ones where you do cards where they do nine a page. Awesome. And I'll say it in the video as well about how they create scenes on the back. There's a couple of, if you had giant cards, you can go in there. And there's our Mando card. And that's our final card, Grogu. There is the full binder for the 108 set, but I am just did the Star Wars cards. Yeah, thank you, David. Awesome stuff. Now... Onto the legend of the Lone Ranger. This big budget film was made in 1981, I believe, but the toys came out in 82. The film was a bomb at the time, but looking in retrospective now, when you see it, the actor who played the Lone Ranger, his whole lines were dubbed by someone else. It kind of gives it that sort of very old school, like timey kind of appearance when you watch it now, back, you know. It's been 40 plus years, so the film can be, it's watchable. It's very watchable. I enjoyed it. You can watch it right here on YouTube, and I'll leave a link to that movie in the description of this video. So the Lone Ranger figures, they came out nine inches back in the 70s. I believe that were Gabriel. I could be wrong, but Gabriel have the license. That's who you can see on these card backs here. They produce all these figures in three and three quarter inch. So let's go free-handed here. Here we have... The Lone Ranger, the Mask Rider, comes with two pistols he can hold in his hands, but don't have the pistols. But I have a very good representation of that figure. I think that, that one's pretty damn good. Silver is his name of the horse. It comes with a removable saddle and a bridle. Then we move on to Tonto. His faithful Indian companion comes with a pistol and a knife that he can hold. I have none of those. <laughs> Scout is his horse. Uh, it also comes with a removable saddle and bridle. Butch Cavendish, over here, played by Christopher Lloyd. This is an original card back as well, you can see behind. He's the outlaw enemy of the Lone Ranger. And he, can, he also comes with one pistol that he can hold in his hand. Smoke is his horse. The wild black stain of the outlaw Butch Cavendish comes with a removable saddle and bridle as well. Down here, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill Cody, he comes with a carbine rifle, which I also don't have. Very nice. And down the end, the famous Indian fighter, General George Custer. He is absolutely minty minty. I've got him in a little case. He is also on an original card back. Well, their card backs come with them, but they're not stuck to the card backs. The others are created by Cyborg Customs. They look fantastic. Now there's different card backs and I want to show you the difference in them. Let's go back on the tripod. 
Let's go to the Lone Ranger first. On the card back, there was a wave where they had three, and then they had coming soon, coming soon. And here's the silver bullets. Now, the silver bullets, you'd think, would be relevant, kind of like the pop is, on the Star Wars card backs. But apparently, that was not the case. So here's your first card back, and a lot of writing there. You can pause that and give that a read if you like to. The next style had all of the figures present on the card, all the horses and the write-up as well, including the silver bullet. Then there was also this one, which had free Western Town on there with the purchase of any four Legend of the Lone Ranger figures or horses. And then you post it in to Western Town PO Box 307, Wellington, Connecticut, I believe that is. And there it is. There was also a card back that had the Western Town on the front as well. Now eventually I'd like to put them all in a case, much like I've got General George Custer here, where they can just be in a bubble that sits on a card back. Maybe one day I'll get all the real card backs, but for the time being they'll be fine. I just need a few more of these cases to do that job. The Western Town set. I was I promised you this video a long, long time ago. I wanted to show it off. I half printed it off. I've made a grave error, and that was to print it off. I printed it off in A3 size. A3 is rather large size, but for three and three quarter inch, it turned out to be the wrong size. I should have printed off in A2 size, which is more of a poster size. Here is my efforts. The playset is cardboard. This is exactly kind of the same way it was. I literally printed this off and stuck it onto some cardstock that I had to cut out. So what you see in front of you is double-sided. It's all there, even the little accessories like this. I think it's a little crate. And there's, if you turn to the side, this is where you can tie up your horses. But if you can see your action figures, it might be okay for a backdrop, but it's a little bit too small. And I was also saying, on the back, double-sided. Uh, it is a little rickety. I have put it together with tape. The original way to put it together came with tabs. And as you can see, I'll zoom right in here. There's where I used a couple of those tabs. And I've punched it right through, and it just doesn't quite look nice. It's just a little bit botchy looking. Yeah. Is that the best you could do? The set even has that you, you're supposed to fold certain sections of it. You're supposed to like put a little bend in the end. It, I don't know if I need that. The other side of this one is inside the saloon, inside the saddlery. Oh, I'm not even getting that shot, am I? That's better. And then the bank has it written on the door, but in reverse. I did do it just, just a little bit too small. I also filmed footage of me doing this and I've lost all the footage because it's been such a long time. I don't know if I've accidentally deleted it. I intentionally deleted it. I can't remember. There is possibly a photo I'll put up on the screen of me cutting out the card stock with this printed on it or pasted to it. Uh, uh, printed out literally on like uh, glossy paper glued it to the card stock and then cut it out and then put it together and the other side looks like this it does look a bit rickety when you when you got it like that <laughs> oh well let's turn it around again in the promotional images this is the order that it's in there we go and it's genuinely supposed to be kind of like that so here we have our action figures in front of the playset Playset, yes, a little undersized, but it doesn't do anything other than be a nice backdrop. And using perspective, if you want it for photos, just put it further away or <laughs> something. The other part is the three horses. I don't have the horses, but I do have this horse, which is kind of a little oversized. And this one, which is extremely oversized. Probably better if I use the horses for the nine inch figures. But I appreciate the gift of these from Giga Shock. In some of the other images I'll show you, there's the two pack with a horse 
and Rider. There's three of those. The marketing for this, as you can see in what's possibly from a toy catalog or toy fair catalog back in the day. You've got the Lone Ranger and Tonto. On the other page, you can see, I believe, Smoke and then the other three characters. They also shared images of Lone Ranger and Tonto with their horses in the nine inch scale. Plus a few accessories, which were pretty cool for all kids back in the day. The Junior Holster Set Official, the six piece double holster set, and this, the official 10 piece rifle and holster set. Look at that hat, hat, bandana, rifle, couple of side arms, beautiful. <laughs> There's the official picture of free the Legend of Lone Ranger Western Town. And here's how to get free Western Town. So the purchase of any full Legend of the Lone Ranger action figures or horses, your customers get a scale model. Western Town, free in the mail. At some stage, I may go back and reprint this at a bigger size. I might not use the thickness of the cardboard that I did there. It was just a little bit hard to cut. It's very finicky, very finicky when you get around these with a, with a knife. However, looks beautiful. I'm glad I've got all the characters. I'm glad I've got the very, very expensive Western Town playset. I will post another picture of the set on my community tab. I did find the image a long, long time ago at some auction where it went for a uh, a bucket load of money about five or six years ago because they're extremely rare for something that was a mail away nobody mailed away for it because at the time the movie was panned the toys weren't popular because the kids were getting out of the western stuff and getting more into the sci-fi stuff but this is one of those classic lines to have in my collection thanks for watching my name is usual mike leave your thoughts and comments down below don't forget to check out the memberships merch and affiliate links down below and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.